the bed, the bed, the bed, yeah. Yes. Hi, Adeline. How are you doing? I'm good. No, I'm not. Earthquake test. No, 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 no. Set the bed, the bed, the bed. What do you do? I just set the bed. I just set the bed with the ball. We got one down. <laughs> Today? How's being my trainer? Be honest. You complain a lot. Yeah, you, I know. But she gets she gets work done and 2021 is gonna be her year. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, so currently we're I'm still in OC, which is Orange County. I literally woke up at like 5:40 this morning and then I went back to sleep and then I woke up and realized it was 6:20. I ran out the door and got to training like 15 minutes late because I had to drive all the way to Orange County, but did some training. Um and now we're just eating. I'm with Adeline, if you don't know who this is. She's a YouTuber. Also, this workout set is from Set Active because I know everyone's gonna ask. Super cute. Adeline's is, was from Set Active as well. I just posted on Instagram um, the pictures that I took yesterday, so if you wanna see that, go check them out. Give them a like and say, my YouTube sent me, and I'll try to like your comment. But also, if you don't know, I shout out a comment every single day at the end of my videos and also a fan page, so make sure to follow my Instagram. But I also just uploaded a video because a bitch is doing daily vlogs now, so go check that out. All right, so we got our food. I got arugula with avocado toast and poached egg. Adeline got a, what is that? What is it? A quesadilla. Uh, quesadilla. quesadilla. And then Manny got pancakes and eggs Benedict. Oh, I love arugula. It's my favorite green. I just drove 30 minutes home. I'm literally, I'm gonna pee my pants. I'm literally gonna pee my pants. I'm literally gonna pee my pants. Open this door quicker. Hi, Sterling. Mommy's gonna pee her pants. Hey, bitch. About to pee my pants. What a relief. Certainly. He got a haircut yesterday. Not me just peeing in the background. He looks adorable. All right, outfit of the day. I just came home to change before I went grocery shopping, but we have this sweater from Brandy. It's dirty, but you know what? It's cute. Um, these jeans that are really wrinkly from Kiss the Rainbow Shop and then the blue dunks. And then I just got this purse from Shein just to match the outfit. But yeah, that's the vibes, monochromatic fit. She's got her extensions in one hand. <laughs> Designated cart pushers. So we're at Gelson's. I've never been to a Gelson's before, but I was trying to find a place with like fresh produce because I feel like a lot of grocery stores, especially in California and like LA, have a lot of prepackaged food, and I, I don't want that. Like I just want fresh food. So that's what we're gonna get. All right, Alyssa Kulani, what is your what is your taste in food? Everything. Everything. All right. Green grapes. Three oh, limes. Two lemons. Seven bucks. Just gonna get one. That's a lot of money. Four dollars for one avocado. Um, anyways, I'm just gonna get our produce here and then we'll go somewhere else to get the cheaper stuff But I just want fresh shit. Broccoli. How to find a good watermelon guys. Take it Terrible. That's not loud. It's not hollow That's hollow. It's a better one. Let's get this one. Let's fuck it up with a honeydew melon Just get a couple tomatoes and get the fuck out of the store because it's so goddamn expensive You're literally paying a dollar for each stock. It's nine bucks for this nine dollars for some asparagus Let's get out of this store. It's too expensive But I'm glad we got some fresh produce because a lot of places don't have this Gelson's just like, you know, a little bit too over my budget Um, I don't know whose budget range this in bruh seven dollars Instagram picture time I think maybe we got it. This is what they're looking like. I'm definitely gonna have to edit them and try to smooth out my jeans because my jeans are so freaking ugly, but we'll figure it out. Starbies! Hi, son. All right, so we're just sitting outside at Starbucks right now. I got another source of caffeine just because I woke up so early this morning. I got a grande iced green tea matcha latte with oat milk and one pump of sugar-free vanilla. I cannot wait to go buy supper matcha at the grocery store so I can make this on my own. This is my mother staple it's so good if you guys get this put this on your story and tag me oh this is her signature drink now is it now you know what Alyssa showed me this in the summer and I was like Ugh, I don't really drink matcha and I tried it like matcha is something that just grows on you like it's so fucking good now it's like water but like flavored blueberries do you eat blueberries no 
Okay. I do eat blackberries though, so I'm gonna get these. What else? What else? Micro arugula. I want some regular ass arugula. Arugula is like my favorite green. Sweet potatoes, great source of carbs. We're just gonna grab two little sweet potatoes. Nothing much. We also. How the f did that happen? Just gonna grab one onion. Cause you know, you just never know when you need an onion. I feel like a lot of recipes call for onions. You, I fucking hate bananas. And Alyssa does too. So I'm glad we're both on the same page. Two packs of avocados. These cucumbers are so good. I don't know how people buy those like US thick cucumbers. This, this shit does not taste good. I do like asparagus, asparagus. We already got some broccoli, eat that up. And then after that's gone, we'll get some asparagus. My favorite snack is carrots with ranch and celery and ranch. Celery, parsley, cilantro. Did you know? I accidentally yeah. dropped one, sorry. Sorry about that. What? Did you know some people think cilantro tastes like soap? Because it's a gene in their DNA. Let me know down in the comments. Do you think cilantro tastes like soap or do you think it's good? Because I think it's good. Do you? Okay, we both got the good piece. We gotta get some jam. I don't really eat that much jam, but sometimes you just feel a little bit of jam. Oh, I kind of like raspberry, a little bit of tang. I do need some sugar. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Oh, uh, what? Sorry. No worries. Sugar, sugar. Na, na, na. What's with all this organic ass sugar? Where's the we're at Whole Foods. Oh, yeah, I forgot that. Maybe we'll get the sugar at Trader Joe's. We're gonna get some black beans. We got some garbanzo beans. That's all we need for the beans. That's for some quinoa bowls, you know? One original oat milk. You never know when you need it. I think grocery shopping is one of my favorite hobbies. Wow. Look at all these hydroflasks. Yeah, so. That's so cute. We're gonna hit a Trader Joe's after this. You know, do a little three in one today. Wow, look at her. She's a wifey. Ralph's to get everything else because everything else is so expensive at other places. $1.99. Perfect. Dressing. Light ranch. Pickles. Snackums. Um, what's the cheapest one? All right, so I put all the groceries down on the table and oh my gosh, this assortment looks beautiful. So basically to make this efficient because I feel like this is gonna take forever, I'm gonna show y'all what I got and as I'm doing that, I'm gonna put it away. The fruits and veggies, I'm gonna do last though because I wanna actually organize those, you know what I mean? All right, I'm gonna start with frozen food because that needs to go in the freezer right away. We got peas and carrots just for like stir fry or whatever, rices, um, we got full strawberries. Then we got some natural lime flavored ice cubes. I don't know, we just thought this would be good for like water or like mojitos. Then I got some frozen chicken breasts because these are so much more affordable than fresh chicken breasts and it's the same. Um, just before you cook it, you just need to defrost it, which I don't mind. Then I got some Cheez-Its. Cheez-Its are like some of the best snacks. Y'all know that I'm obsessed with Cheez-Its. Two packs of farfalle, I don't know, pasta. It's just like the bow tie pasta is what I call it. I just thought we would get this for like different types of pasta, I don't know. Then I got some fusilli tricolor pasta because I love making spicy fusilli. You don't know what it is, search it up. It's basically Gigi Hadid it's spicy vodka pasta, but it's actually called like vodka ala penne or sp spicy fusilli also kind of tastes like it. Then I got some lacy ribbon pasta that you just like throw in the water and I thought this would be so good for like just anything. It just looks so pretty, right? I've never seen this before, so I decided to get it. Then we got some cane sugar because you just need some sugar. I need to fill up the little containers, which we'll do later. I got some all-purpose flour because you just never know when you need it. I kind of want to just get a container to put this in. It would be super cute. Then I got some original oat milk. Um, I don't know. I just feel like sometimes you want cereal or something even though we didn't even buy cereal I just bought it because you can just throw this in the pantry I also got two things of chicken broth this broth this one's kind of mangled everything down yeah I got two things of chicken broth you just never know when you need it I got black beans and garbanzo beans which is chickpeas for quinoa bowls which I didn't even buy quinoa I was trying to find it but quinoa bowls with this is so freaking good and some salsa and parsley I need to go buy that then I got hella tuna I got seven of them because this with mayo and pepper and some crackers one of the best snacks ever I also got hella tomato paste because I like to make my own pasta sauce instead of buying the pre-canned one so I got like four of these spicy fusilli so freaking good guys I'm telling you you need to try to make it. Then we got some red wine vinegar. I need to put this in like my little oil bottles that I got. And then I also got um, balsamic vinegar. So this is for Greek salad. You just mix this with some olive oil and put some oregano on top. That's some Greek dressing. Um, and balsam. Oh, I need feta. Red wine vinegar. You mix this with some olive oil, dip some bread in it. Oh, 
Uh, then got some olive oil. I need to put this in the little bottles as well still. I got some grapeseed oil that I need to put in the spray bottle. Grapeseed oil just has a like low smoke point or whatever, but um, this is really good for cooking, so I want to put it in the spray bottle so we can use like to cook eggs and all that stuff. Then I got some Snackums Kosher Dale pickles. The small ones are the best because they're crunchiest, and I got two because I go through like two every week, I'd say. Um, and then to go with that, I got uh, some cheese and sausage. This shit is the best. It's my little DIY Lunchables. It's so, so, so good. Going with that, I got some turkey meat as well, just put in wraps and sandwiches. Then I got some wild raspberry jam. I like j raspberry jam better than strawberry because I feel like strawberry is too sweet. What do you like? Let me know down in the comments because I'm actually curious. Do people like raspberry or strawberry? Then going on to condiments because you always need these. These are the essentials. We got the Heinz to ketchup. Your guys' ketchup in America tastes way different than in Canada. Canada's ketchup tastes so much better. Um, also some mustard. Then we got the Caesar dressing and the ranch dressing. Ranch with vegetables is like one of my favorite snacks. Also got some medium salsa because I'm a big girl now and I get medium instead of mild. Not me not being able to eat jalapeno chips and taking the chili peppers off of my, like the little chili flakes off of my breakfast today. Then got some sour cream. Um, Alyssa just got this for like potatoes and stuff I think. And then we got some garden vegetable cream cheese spread. What the fuck is this for? Garden vegetable? Interesting. Then she got some regular cream cheese as well. Um, she got some mozzarella pearls because I guess she likes to eat this with uh, tomatoes. tomatoes. I think she's going to snack on that right now, I'm actually. Try it. And then we got some everything but the bagel dip and spread. Oh my god, that's so good. It's good? Alyssa reviewed it, everyone. Go get it. Then I got some heavy whipping cream and then also some hazelnut um, creamer. This is for pasta and then this is obviously for coffee. I'm going to tell y'all the best coffee combination is this with some hazelnut coffee beans. I literally love this coffee more than anything else. Then let's go on to cheese. I got some Parmesan cheese for pasta again, just to shave it ourselves, just because I feel like it tastes way better when it's like that. And then also some brown sugar for cooking. Rice, just because you know, you always want a little bit of rice to eat. Then we got the roasted hazelnut coffee beans. Get coffee beans and then get a coffee grinder. Don't buy pre like grinded coffee beans because it's just not as fresh, but I'm really excited to try this. Then Alyssa got some flaming Hot Cheeto Puffs. I've never seen this before. I know there's like the flaming Hot Cheetos, but I've never tried the Puffs, but do you like the Puffs better or like the hard Cheetos better? I like both, but honestly, if I had to choose, I think I like the Puffs better. And then we also got a huge bag of a party size, even though it's just for me and Alyssa, of pretzel crisp because you just eat this with like everything. And it's a little bit healthier than like straight cracker. Then we got some Dave's Killer Bread because this has a lot of protein in it. If I'm going to eat avocado toast, I'm going to have healthy bread. And then Alyssa just got some everything bagels. I've never tried one of these, I don't think. Then I got some tortillas because I love making wraps and burritos, like breakfast burritos. Oh my god, the best shit ever. Or if I'm like wanting a quick snack, I put a little bit of ranch on here or Caesar, put a little bit of turkey, a little bit of cheese, a little bit of, you know, whatever you want, eat it up. Mm. Then I got a bunch of juices. So we got cranberry juice because we love cranberry juice. Um, and then also two pineapple juices because these taste yummy as well. And then we got some orange juice, you know, a little bit of a breakfast juice and some Arnold Palmer. I never tried this until like literally yesterday. She insisted on getting this though. We got some... LaCroix cranberry, which is the best, and also LaCroix lime, which is also the best. Can you imagine this with the lime fucking ice cubes? Also, I got 18 large eggs. Let's see if any of these are broken. Surprisingly, not. Usually whenever I buy eggs, they're bro broken. Uh, we got some unsalted butter, you know, for the little butter holder. I'm excited. So, produce. We got some Sensodyne. A green melon. Watermelon. We got two garlics. Just you always need fresh garlic for cooking. I used to buy the big tubs of garlic, but that's just not good. You have to add so many scoops of that and just not fresh. Might as well just cut it yourself. We got a shallot for pasta. Four tomatoes just for like sandwiches and all that stuff, or sometimes Greek salad. Um, a bunch of petite Greek tomatoes, again, just for salads, just snacking with ranch and shit. Lemons for like salmon or whatever. We got a bunch of avocados for avocado toast. Three limes for just cooking mojitos. And then we got two sweet potatoes, a regular potato. Uh, I got one of these just for like hash browns and stuff. And then this is really good if you like cut it up, put ground turkey in it, or just to like make fries. But sweet potato tastes so freaking good. Um, we got a white onion just for cooking. Some blackberries. I love blackberries. Do you like blackberries more or raspberries more? I'm literally just doing a whole questionnaire. If you've already commented, 
keep commenting. I read every single one of the comments. Two packs of strawberries because I love these. Um, and then we got some mushrooms for like Alfredo. Some green grapes because green is the best. Do you like green or red better? Fresh basil for pasta. Some broccoli for like chicken and rice and just all that stuff. Um, some baby carrots for ranch. We got some celery for ranch. Um, baby arugula for like salads and stuff. And then spinach for again salads and stuff and smoothies. Cilantro and then just a head of lettuce. Let's put everything like in our containers and stuff now. Let's start off with the little eggies. So I got this egg carton a while ago. Honestly couldn't tell you exactly where I got this. If you just like search up egg organizer, I'm sure you can find it. But I think that this is just so cute and it makes your fridge look so pretty. Wow, she is beauty. This is gorgeous. Wow, oh my God. I got these containers from Bed Bath & Beyond and they're just like OXO containers, but inside there's a filter. And I guess this like absorbs all the moisture so that it uh, stays fresh. Um, in here, I'm gonna put my lettuce, I think. Then in here, I think I wanna put spinach and arugula. Then for grapes, I'm gonna put all the grapes in this one container here, just like that. Is this cute? I think that looks cute. Oh, this looks so pretty. Tomatoes. I feel like mushrooms need to be like, covered, so I'm just gonna put the mushrooms there. So pretty. In here, I'm gonna put a cucumber, the celery. It's like the only thing that'll fit that. In here, I'm thinking maybe parsley and the cilantro. Oh my god, this is like the best my fridge is ever gonna look. Then in this little spinny thing, I don't really know what to put in here. Limes, nectarines, lemon. I think that looks good. I do need a bowl though for like my avocados and stuff. Now that all of this is organized, I want to cut up the watermelon and the melon to put it in a container so it's easy to eat. Oh my god, I'm gonna be able to use my knives for the first time. Chop the ends up like that. Then you're gonna place it down like this and carve the white stuff off of it. Oh, fuck. Flip it and then get this side. Then after you got that, the watermelon should be good to chop up into chunky, chunky chunks. Time to do the little cantaloupe, lopey, lopey. That was not even. Oh my God, I haven't opened one of these in so long. That is beautiful. Okay, so now I'm gonna scoop this out into the trash. Same process, um, just shave everything off of it. Oh, y'all are really just out here watching me cut fruit right now. All right, so now it's time to fill up this thing. Okay, that was, that was easy. Um, I also wanna put some lime in there. No, we just got one lime. That's fine. Beautiful. Time to put the sugar in this thing though. I bought this because it'd be easier and sugar wouldn't get everywhere. It was a little bit more expensive, but it was worth it because there was no mess. She is beauty. She is great. Now we're gonna do the Misto oil. Fill only halfway. Oh my God, I'm shaking. Put this back on. Boom, and then whenever you wanna use it, you just have to pump it a couple times and then you can spray it. Then we gotta do the olive oil and vinegar. Wow, this is so pleasing, like satisfying, you know? Okay, we got the olive oil, now we gotta do the vinegar. Oh my God, I'm shaking so bad. I literally cannot stop shaking. Boom, perfecto. These look so freaking good next to each other. Yay! All right, all right, all right. So I organized the fridge, and now I'm gonna do a little fridge review for y'all. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Oh my God, I literally just wanna eat food all day because of this. Like, this is so hot. This turns me on. Do you like how this looks? Come look at this. It's like, oh, you want the watermelon? Don't worry, it's already cut up for you. You want the melon? Don't worry, it's already cut up for you. Strawberries, take it out, it's already washed. I see why people watch these videos. I haven't watched one of these videos from you and I see the hype. You can just grab it. And it's so easy because if it's like in a box, like, wow, That's we amazing. love. I'm we proud love. of you. Well, listen to this ASMR crunch. Anyways, all right, so family shout out of the day goes to Sammy Dimter Design. She does really cute design and drawing. Oh my God, thank you so much. That is adorable. Um, and then I posted an Instagram picture today, so comment of the day goes to, let's find it. Comment of the day goes to Tati XIX. She said, YouTube sent me and you honestly look beautiful in this. I've watched you since you had 50K subscribers. So thank you so much, Tati. I really appreciate it. But yeah, if you guys want to be one of these comments of the day, just follow my Instagram. But I read every single one of my comments on YouTube. I'm being so, so so, so serious. So make sure to comment something down below because I read every single one of my comments. Also, subscribe because I post every single day. So you want to be notified for that. Tomorrow is going to be either an Ikea vlog, I think. So yeah, make sure to stay tuned for that. That should be fun. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. East and the West, I'm racking up on my breath. Uh, power on me. I'm feeling just like a Tesla. Too much tree. The smoke is making my chest hurt. Girl on me. I'm thinking I should arrest her.